Welcome to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, a game that has become such a special part of all-star festivities. And that's really because it, it always provides us with such an entertaining look at the next generation of, of NBA stars. In a game like this where the pressure's off and it's all about having fun, I think we really get an opportunity to see just how skilled these young players are. Exactly. I mean, nobody's going to get on top of you if you go behind your back or you try something out of the ordinary. And that means we get to see these young guys pull off some amazing plays in this game every year. And now the opening lineup for Team World. Sharp out there with Benedict Matherin. Then there's Wembenyama. And it's Jovic in at the small forward. Here's Wembenyama. Just five to shoot. Sharp the pass to Sohan. And that one drops for him. And for me, this is always one of the best weeks of the year. So much fun for everyone involved. Fans, players, coaches. What a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. An All-Star Week is one great show after another. Back to Miller. Here's Kessler. And the rejection by Wembenyama. And it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Now, here's Hardy. Now, Ivy. Miller with a wide open look. The offensive rebound. Makes it out to Van Caro. USA moving the ball around. Kessler finds Ivy. Hands it from downtown. You brought the big stage, these young guys around tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Ivy kicks to Miller. Fires from the wing. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. Now, here's Van Carroll. On the wing, Miller fires the three. Miller with another miss. You know, he looks a little off-kilter to me this quarter, still trying to find his rhythm. Wasted no time on that one. Jovic has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Team World. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Weekend. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Here is Miller following the three-pointer by Team World. And not just the score. Miller can dish it as well, showing great vision on that play. Pass to Sohan. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And stolen by Ivy. And now the fast break. Ivy with the ball. And he finished it off with the lane. Ivy's got five now. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Rembenyama, right side. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. Now, here's Hardy. Nothing on the board. Now the pass to Ivan. Pass to Miller. Lock at six. Yes, that goes in. And some players in the Rising Stars Challenge aren't especially well-known yet. But this young man is someone we've already become 
very familiar with. It has not taken him long to really establish himself in the league. I mean, he's been logging a ton of minutes. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Hardy. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Victor Webinar. One shot. generational talent for Wembenyama the sky is the limit and the reality here's Harden this is a dive there's the screen over Matherin Miller inside and the layup is good Miller's got six. And as usual, neither team really grinding too hard at the defensive end. And I think that's okay in this event. I mean, I say the more highlights, the better. Matherin against Ivy. Pass to Wembenyama. Banked in off the glass. Wembenyama's got his third bucket of the night. And this is what you want to see. Wembenyama attacking with authority inside. And there's the pass to Ivy. Rebound by Team World. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Sharp, the pass to Wembenyama. Count that one. Nine points in the game so far. He's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's at high. And here's Hardy. He has yet to score. Miller outside. Good for another basket for him. Number four today. He's four of eight. A huge reason Miller went so high in the draft. His three-point stroke. It's exactly what you want in a wing. Here's Wembenyama for three. That doesn't go either for Ren Benyama. Hardy passes to Kessler. Here's Ben Carroll. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Out to the right wing. Here's Ren Benyama for three. Well, he's certainly seen his share of the ball tonight. I would say maybe more than his fair share. I mean, he's not going to make too many friends out there if he's not willing to spread that sugar a little bit. Here's Ben Kim. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. No stopping Ben Carroll that time. I mean, he just muscles his way through the foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for USA. Right away, they showed us they weren't going to shy away from the mid-range game. And it's proving to be an effective tool for them. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Chet Holmgren, he's checked in for Miller. Thompson comes in for Ivy. And Scoot Henderson subbed in for Hardy.
Left side. And the free throw, no good. You know, once in a while, a guy will come into the league and just hit the ground running. Van Carroll was a star from the first week. Matherin, good. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's Thompson looking for Van Carroll and gets it there. Over Matherin. And finished off by Van Carroll. Love that attacking mentality from Van Carroll on the glass. Getting after it for the second chance. Two minutes remaining. Here's Nemhard. Two minutes. Pass to Wembenyama. Over Kessler. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And, and Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. Here's Nemhard, Henderson defending to the inside. Here's Wembenyama. Kessler with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Wembenyama with the bounce pass. Good ball movement here by Team World. Passes to Nemo. Offline with his three. USA leading by three. Henderson passes to Kessler. Holmgren sets the screen for Thompson. And with his movement skills, Thompson routinely catches defenders out of position. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Thompson. One falls for Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast, and boy, can he fly. Catching up on the changes for USA. Tari Eason comes in for Walker Kessler. And Ivy subbed in for Van Carroll. And so Thompson nails both of them. They have a chance to go two for one here. Well, let's see how they play the clock. Pass to Fontecchio. Hits it from three-point range. And we haven't seen very much of him in the regular season yet. But there's no question he's got a very bright future ahead of him. I agree with all of that. Even with limited playing time, his talent has been evident. And that talent is strong enough to have earned him a spot in this game. And that says a lot considering he doesn't play a bunch for his team. And it's Team World with the ball. After the miss from Chet Holmgren. Here's Nemhard. No scoring in this one. Just five on the clock. Gay and off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. And still a close That's game the the as the first quarter, quarter comes to a close. USA leads by two. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the spring. Glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. 
some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. Yeah, a little light on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight. And that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. Jaden Ivey is out there with Scoot Henderson. Then it's Thompson. Then there's Holmgren. And it's Eason in at the four. And for Team World, we've got Daniels. And it's Nemhard in at the point. Inside. Here's Gay, and the rejection by Holmgren. And, and you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. Here's Nemhard, still without a basket. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Team World shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. First free throw is good. so he makes both from the line. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Henderson outside. Back to Ivy. With the second effort, the second chance effort, and that one is good. Ivy's got four this quarter. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the end one. Team World shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. That one is off. No good on the second free throw. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game, because you get points, and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. Here's Nemhard after the main shot from Chet Holmgren. Pass to Gay. Team World with another miss. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for USA. Only giving up two points this quarter. Misses the lane. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Down low. Fouled on the shot. He picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Second personal. You know, that's not how you scream for your guys. But ultimately, they still found a way to come away with the hoop. This is his second trip to the line in this one. 
And USA with some changes. Miller's checked in for Jari Eason. And it's Hardy in for Thompson. And that one misses. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Here's Nemhard. They set the pick. Pass to Gay. The pass to Sharp. Six on the shot clock. Over Ivy. Yep, it goes, and the USA lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Sharp. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Miller. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. And nice mechanics from Miller there. Ready to fire as that pass was coming. Pass to Sharp. Here's Nemhard. To the paint. Here's Jovic. It's hauled in by USA. Miller outside. Kicks to Holmgren. Passes it to Miller. USA moving the ball around. Holmgren dishes to Ivy. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. He's shooting five for eight. And that's a testament to Ivy's strength. Remarkable job converting through the contact. Here's Nemhard. To the middle. Here's Jovic. The teardrop falls in. Jovic has got eight. And it's all about the release when you shoot at the float. Ivy with it. 11 points in the game. Henderson outside. They set the screen. Stripped away. Here's Nemhard. Inside. Sohan. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Sohan's got his second bucket of the night. Now, here's Ivy. Guarded close. Pass to Hardy. Rebound by Team World. Here's Jovic. Eight points for him. Here's Gay. Here's Sohan. Shot clock at five. Shoots from the block. Jovic, no good. So it's USA now. Henderson finds Ivy. There's the three. And he's good on the three ball. He's got 14. You know Ivy loves to find that shot. The defense has to be more careful with him at the arc. And now the first time out called here for Team World.
save was the change. Walker Kessler comes in for Holmgren. And Bancaro subbed in for Ivy. And Team World making a change here. And it's Team World with the ball. Trailing by five. Daniels passes to Sohan. And here's Daniels. Back to Wembenyama. Looking to get back on track here. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. Team World will retain possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. A three off the inbound gets the three point of the fall. Ben Benyama has got 12 in the game. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for USA. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And you watch Miller, he, he keeps the defense on its heels. They don't know what he's going to do. It's his first trip to the line. Brandon Miller, two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. On paper, Brandon Miller checked all the scouting boxes. Good size, the percentages, solid rebounding. Now he just has to maintain that play at a higher level. Both shots good from the strike. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Team World trails by four. And Benyama outside. There's the pass to Sohan. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Now, here is Miller. 13 points in the game. Pass to Hardy. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And stolen by Wembenyama. Daniels with it. Picked up by Bancaro. Up the floor. A nice shot by Sohan. Sohan's got four this quarter. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Henderson kicks to Miller. Pass to Kessler. Nice move. And the layup is good. Kessler's got his second bucket of the night. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. And Benyama outside over Kessler. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. And this kid is tough. Benyama is just powering it in despite the contact. Team World shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And USA making a change here. Ivy's checked in. And a change for Team World. Sharps checked in for Daniel. Here's Hardy. Scoreless thus far. Pass to Miller. The nine-foot shot. Count that one. And the concentration there from Miller. Not phased at all by the contact. And it's Team World with the ball. It's a three-point game. And here's Sharp. Benyama looking it over. And it's blocked. Ivy up top. 
over Matherin. Again, USA. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Sharp, the pass to Sohan. The pass to Wembenyama. Maybe USA the most foul. hyped teenager foul. since okay. LeBron James. Wembenyama is the poster child foul. for upside. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Victor Wembenyama taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Wembenyama. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when you're big can knock him down from the line. Miller, the pass to Ivan. Back to Miller. Here's Hardy. Still scoreless. Five to shoot. Miller, the pass to Ivan. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Miller's got his third assist on the night. And this is tough to stop if you're the defense. They have just gotten locked in from three-point range this quarter. Here's Wembenyama. 17 points in the game. Over to the wing. Sharp the pass to Jovic. It's hauled in by USA. Kessler's got six rebounds here tonight. And then they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. That's why they're ahead. And a willingness to put himself on the line, I'd be going directly into the heart of the defense. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. This helps build the lead. They're having a really solid second quarter at the line. And so he hits both. They're not leaving any points at the free throw line this quarter. Uh, that's really the best way to protect the lead. Team World trails by eight. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Sharp the pass to Wembenyama. Trains it from beyond the arc. Wembenyama has got 11 here in this quarter alone. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Now, Miller. 15 points in the game. Three-pointer, and stolen by Wembenyama. The shot misses. And so is Jaden Ivey, making things happen for USA. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. And don't go away. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. Van Carroll up there with Walker Kessler. Then it's Ivy. Then there's Hart. And it's Miller in at the small forward spot. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. Now, here's Sharp. Pass to Wembenyama. A three-pointer is right on target. Wembenyama has got 23. And this is why many are excited about Wembenyama's future. Such a unique, versatile player and score. Miller outside. That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. What composure from the rookie inside. Miller doesn't let the defense speed him up. And Benyama with it. He's covered by Kessler. And Benyama gets the bucket. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. USA leading by four. Here's Hardy, and he could not get that one to go. On a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Shaden Sharp picks one up. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. The first one falls. He's perfect from the line this time. Benyama with it. He's got 25. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Passes it to Sohan. A three-pointer off the mark. USA leading by six. Down low. And here's Sharp. Pass to Jovic. They double team when Benyama. Here's Jovic, covered by Miller, and Jovic gets it to go. Jovic has got 10 points. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. Throws it up high and stolen by Wen Benyama. Plenty of space. Dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Good to see a player going all out with the games this time. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Here's Van Carroll following the bucket by Team World. Drills the three-pointer. Ivy's got 24 points. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. To the left wing. Here's Wembenyama. And Carroll grabs the board. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. And the pass to Ivy. Again, USA. To me, one of the things that separates Van Carroll from others is his passing. And Team World calls time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated.
Here's Matherin. Pass to Wembenyama. Back to Matherin. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. USA leading by seven. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. It's deflected and stolen by Wembenyama. Sharp the pass to Sohan. It's in he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Hey guys, the he has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Pass to Miller. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Jovic. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Short. That's good. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Here's Kessler. Hardy passes to Ivy. Kessler with it. Back to Ivy. Makes it off the glass. Ivy's got seven now in this quarter. Once again, Ivy's showing us what he's capable of. What a night. Now, here's Sean. Tight defense on him. Here's Wembenyama. Again, Team World, good for two. The USA calls time here. Timeout, USA. Tight game here in Utah. Miller surveying the floor. Elbow shot is on the way. Pass to Hardy. Launches it. Traps in the tray. Hardy's got five points so far. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Benyama left side. The pass to Sohan. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Good work by Matthew in getting rid of the ball when somebody has a better shot. He's got to throw it his way. Here is Miller. He's got 19. Pass to Ivy. Miller, right side. No one near Bancaro as he lets it go. From downtown. Ivy on the wing. Miller, the pass to Bancaro. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Miller's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. 
And that's how Bancaro creates driving lanes. That shot right there, knocking it down, opens the floor for him. Here's Sohan. He's got 10. This is a Dewem Benyama. Here's Sohan. He's covered by Bancaro. Short. That's good. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And USA leads by five. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Here's Wembenyama for three. Miller grabs the miss. Miller's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Hardy. Now Kessler. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Matherin. Goes up. Hammers it down off the coast-to-coast -coast break. Matherin doing a nice job making himself a target with the quickness he has in transition. The USA calls time here. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Chad Holmgren, he's checked in for USA. Scoot Anderson comes in for Ivy. Hardy passes to Miller. USA moving the ball around. And it's Bancaro missing. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. The pass to Nemar. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And here's Bancaro. He'll bring it up for USA. Three-point lead. Henderson passes to Bancaro. And it's Miller in the corner. Six to shoot. Pass to Hardy. Let's the three fly. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Miller's got five assists in the game. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Here's Sohan. Ten points for him. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. That one on Holmgren. For Team World, they have shot 67% from the line, going six of nine. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. And USA with some changes. Tari Eason's checked in for Miller. And it's Thompson in for Hardy.
and he sinks the second. USA leading by five. Two minutes remaining in the third. Passes to Holmgren. Takes the 13-footer. Again, USA. And guys, you can't allow Holmgren to gain confidence from the mid-range. He'll burn you when you give him those looks. Here's Gay. And the three ball is good. Gay's got five. And how about the big fella stepping outside and showing us some range? Well, he'd get some grief for that shot in the regular game, but in this setting, you're allowed that kind of latitude and freedom. And it's Van Carroll missing. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Zoan, the pass to Daniels. 114 left to play here in the third. Pass to Gay. Here's Nemhard. Down to five on the shot clock. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Home run. One of the best young shot blockers in the league. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Aiden Ivey, he's checked in for Ben Carroll. Team World also making some changes. Montecchio's checked in, and it's sharp in for Benedict Matherin. Free throw good from Eason. Team World trails by seven. To the wing right side. Here's Sharp. Here's Gage. Jams it in off the great move. And, and how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Greg. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe. Just maybe. Well, I don't think it would be a bad idea. I mean, they could use all the second chance points they can get. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Here's Nemhard. Henderson defending. Driving in. Gay. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand hole punch. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the ref in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And that one misses. The first thing people mention about Ivy is that explosiveness. The, the first step allows him to get downhill and really makes him effective in those ISO situations. And he's good on the second. And it's USA headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Right back after this break.
Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA hockey. And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game. And that excitement comes out onto the court. So, Team World's five right now. We've got Sharp, and it's Daniels in at the two spot. Holmgren gets the bucket. Already a gifted passer. Henderson has solid vision for such a young player. The pass to Daniels. Here's Gabe. Pass to Sharp. A three ball. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. He's going to ride him as far as he can take him. Now, here's Ivy to the inside, and the dunk by Eason. Eason. Oh, and the playmaking of Ivy on full display. Ivy. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Passes it to Daniels. Here's Nemhard, Henderson defending. Daniels passes to Nemhard. Five on the clock, pass to Sharp. And Team World, another three. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Thompson for the triple. And it's Fontecchio with the rebound. Team World trails by five. A shot by Nemhard, no good. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it back. Henderson kicks to Thompson. Out to Henderson. Tries it from the top of the key. That shot, no good. Now, here's Sharp. He's covered by Thompson. Good ball movement here by Team World. Here's Nemo. Team World with another miss. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. He takes it in. Now the pass to Fonjecchio. No problems knocking that one down. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. So it's USA now, following the bucket by Team World. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really sharp. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots Personal coming up. Foul. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you foul. can hear the smack all the way over here the where we are. Shaded sharp. Two shots. The free throw drops for Sharp. And USA making a change here. Kessler's checked in. Rembenyama, he's checked in for Team World. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Time the USA calls time here. Things not going their way, and he wants to 
wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Henderson with the ball for USA. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. To the paint, here's Ivy. And defenses can't be too physical with Ivy because he's just so good at attracting the whistle. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Team World. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And also, guys, the confidence to keep taking the three. It's been falling, so they've got to keep going back to it. And the first one. And USA with some changes. Paulo Bancaro's checked in for Holmgren. Miller comes in for Thompson. And it's Hardy in for Scoot Henderson. And Ivy drops them both. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And Benyama outside. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Now, here's Sean. Not a lot of room, and the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. USA leading by three. Here's Hardy. Pass to Ben Carroll. Rebound by Team World. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a nanosecond. Pass to Sharp. Here's Sohan. Pass to Wembenyama. And a wide open look for Matherin. It's good, and it's Wembenyama with the assist. Oh, how about the vision by Wembenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. Hardy passes to Miller. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Miller's got 22 points. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached, but man, playing to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. 
Now, here's Hardy. There's the pass to Ivy. Pass will rip it. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your USA, Walker Kessler. Free throw missing. He hits the second from the line. Well, he did enough there. He made it a two possession game, at least. Team World trails by four. And Benyama outside. Outside Matherin. That's good, and it's Rem Benyama with the assist. Rem Benyama's got four assists in the game. Hardy passes to Miller. Goes up on the wing. Rebound by Team World. Rem Benyama's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Jovic, covered by Miller. Here's Wimbenyama. Kessler with the rebound. Kessler's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Ivy against Matherin. Here's Ben Carroll. USA with another miss. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk. But later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. You know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Hardy passes to Ban Carroll. Two points, that one goes. Nine points for Paolo Ban Carroll. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And Benyama gets the bucket. How about the rookie with the big shot? Benyama showing us he can meet those high expectations. Now, here's Ivy. The step back jumper is good. Ivy's got 12 points in just the second half. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Sharp, the pass to Sohan. Now, Wembenyama. Pass to Sohan. Good ball movement here by Team World. Matherin for three. It's hauled in by USA. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Miller outside. And he makes that one. Now it's a four-point USA lead. Already, Miller showing he has no problem in the big moments. How about the gut from that young man? Here's Wembenyama. Passes it to Sharp. Pass to Matherin. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. We've seen this movie before from Matherin. He is cool and confident under pressure. Miller outside. Wants to get it to Kessler and does. He gets that one. The rest of the D can be stretched a little thin with double teams in place like that. Now, here's Sharp. To the middle. It's hauled in by USA. Miller's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And the layup falls. Miller's got 26. And when Brandon Miller puts it all together, he is going to be a problem. Now, 
now Wembenyama. 107 left in the fourth quarter. And it's Matherin missing. USA leading by six. Ivy kicks to Miller. Back to Ivy. Here's Hardy. Bangs home the trifecta. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. And Team World calls time here. They're down by nine. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Forty-nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ivy against Matherin. And the rejection by Wembenyama. To end the run. And he banks in the layup. Wembenyama's got 31 points. I'm not sure how defenders are supposed to guard Wembenyama without making contact. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Miller outside. Rebound by Team World. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save him tonight. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. Frames it from downtown. When Matherin's creating for his teammates, his offensive impact goes way up. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. Exactly. You got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. Team foul. At the line for your USA, Jaden Ivey. Two shots. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he ends up making the second, and that puts them up by five. And Team World calls time here. They're behind by five. Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. What's your take, guys? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt.
Here's Sharp. Three from the inbound. Gets the three to fall. So many of the plays they're running are designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. The USA calls time here. They're up by two. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. Fifteen foul. At the line for two. Jaden Hardy. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. Here's Sohan. So USA wins it. What a terrific game. I tell you what, these young players are going to give us years of excitement to come. The future of the NBA is looking very bright with these guys, Kevin. Terrific young players. Sure is. You're right, Greg. This really was a fun contest to watch, as it always is. We hope you've all enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks so much for joining us. For Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time.